Let me read for you some that will give you and give our blessed viewers a glimpse of the greatness of this day of celebration and why we celebrate it. Hadith is from Amir al-Mu'mineen salawatullahi wa salamuhu alayhi speaking with Hudayfa, part of the hadith which is mashhoor. From the names that is given to Eid al-Zahra or Fatah Farhat al-Zahra, Amir al-Mu'mineen says, Yawm al-Ghadir al-Thani. The ninth of Rabiul Awwal is the second Eid al Ghadir. So from here, straight away, we understand that Eid al Ghadir or the event of Ghadir in itself is made up of two parts. One part is the 18th of the Hijjah, and the second part is the ninth of Rabiul Awwal. And within this, there is Kalam Kabir. There is great words and there is great interpretation in regards to the similarities and the conjunction between the 9th of Rabiul Awal and the 18th of Dhil Hijjah, such that the Eid of 18th of Dhil Hijjah is completed with the Eid of 9th of Rabiul Awal, and the 9th of Rabiul Awal is completed with 18th Dhil Hijjah. The one who celebrates the 9th of Rabiul Awal is because he has understood and accepted 18th Dhil Hijjah. And vice versa. For you find Amir al Mu'minin states, 9th of Rabiul Awwal, Yani Yawm al Ghadir al Thani. In another description, Yawm Raf'ul Kalam, the day the pen is raised. Okay. And there is tafsir about this. Mm -hmm. Yawm al Baraka, the day of blessings. Yawm al Tharat, this is the day of vengeance. Oh, okay, interesting. Yawm yustahab fihi dua or yustajab fihi dua the day where duas are accepted. Wa yawm naz'as sawad. Naz'us sawad, what you were elaborating to wedge. It is the day of removing the black clothes. Yawm nedamatu dhalim, the day of regret for the oppressor. Yawm farhu shi'a. The day of happiness for the Shia. وَيَوْمْ قَتْلُ munafik, The day where the Munafik was killed, sent towards Jahannam wa بِئْسَ masir. يَوْمْ حَدْمُ This is the day of the destruction of misguidance. And you find that, so on and so forth. يَوْمْ نَسْرُ madlum. The, this day, 9th Rabiul Awal, is the day of victory for the oppressed. Each and every one of these names highlights a certain particular dimension of this great Eid Farhatul Zahra that occurs on the 9th of Rabiul Awal.